morning. Welcome to a uh, Wednesday in my life. Uh, I'm playing with a GT3 RS. Uh, this is something that I've had on the agenda for a long time now, where I have gray door pulls. You know, the, 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 the GT cars and the RS versions have these, um, key, these strap door pulls. I actually have a really expensive uh, key ring. This is from a 997 GT3 RS, which is a stitch door pull for my, uh, for my, um, this is the actual Porsche part that I bought for, for my key holder. I want to have these made because this thing was like 175 bucks or something stupid like that. Anyway, I got my money's worth out of it. So that same key strap is this door pull. And you guys know my feelings about yellow stitching. Well, it's grown on me, my yellow seat belts and my yellow stitching has, I guess, um, I'm stuck with it. And so we might as well do it right. And before I even got the car, I've got some, some replacement door pulls that were yellow to match. Uh, this is an option that you, I don't think you can really choose. Uh, it, I think it's a CXX option only. Uh, so it's like custom, custom, and it's thousands of dollars just to change this. Instead, you can go to Suncoast Porsche Parts order it for I think they're like six or seven hundred bucks for a set. Uh, now I got lucky and that before I even got the car when I made a video uh, a follower said hey bro I've got some yellow door straps I've got the yellow kit uh, I'll trade you I'll trade you a bucket package for this. Uh, so, you know, it cost me, you know, 200 and whatever, whatever the cost is of the bucket package for me. I think, mean, you know, it retails for 295. I think my cost is like 210 or something like that. So anyway, it cost me 200 and something dollars for these, which worked out for the both of us. He needed to get rid of them uh, and wanted the bucket package and then I wanted it. Well, that was November of 2016. Uh, when did I get that car? No, I got this car in November of 2017. Uh, so it's been well over a year. I've had them sitting in the cabinet, so now we're going to do it. Now I'm cheating a little bit. I knocked the other side out real quickly. I had to just remind myself of how these doors come apart. Uh, but in normal Porsche fashion, it's magical. Everything comes apart and goes right back the other way it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna, cheating on you a little bit here, and you're not going to see me fumble as much uh, because I already did this. So there are some screws that we need to take out. There's two here under the airbag cover. There's one here behind the door pull. And then there's one over here on this side. This is the hardest piece to get out. This one right here. You just have to man up, get your fingers behind it and then pull. You wanna to try to do it without, without scratching anything if you can. Try to stay out of your way here. So just get this little pry tool behind it. And pull. There we go. So there's that piece. Comes off. And there's a T30 right here. And then take a little flathead and pop this sucker out. Here. We pull this thing off, try not to scratch that. Throw that down here, and then this airbag, this airbag cover pops off. So there's some little tabs there. And then we take our T30 and remove these pieces. Uh, but, and honestly, it, it didn't take me much longer to do the other side. That's so magical about these cars. I just had to remind myself I'd forgotten there was a screw right here. I was trying to pull up for a few seconds till it clicked. Because if you haven't watched in the past, I actually went back and I was looking at it earlier. I, I, don't, I never actually videoed this part of taking the door card off. Uh, but in the past, I, uh, I did my GT3 audio system, which I just talked to Derek from Sound and Motion last night. We're gonna do one in this car too, I decided can't take it anymore. I can't take this crappy audio system. So they have a new design where they have a, a digital amp that uh, we can fit under the passenger seat. Because uh, the thing I didn't like about the system before is we had the amp up front in the front trunk, but we had to, we had to drill the main harnesses in order to get through there. There's no access to it. Uh, and so if we don't have to do that, there's actually a, there's a hole in all GT cars 
even though it's a PDK, there's an actual, there's a clutch, a clutch pedal hole, you know, from, because these are based on, the chassis is based on the regular 911. And, you know, regular 911s have a manual. Now, of course, the new Dot .2s have a, have a manual option, but this generation of the GT cars didn't have a manual. So uh, we can go right through there to get to the battery uh, for the amplifier, uh, but we're gonna do a thing, you know, Dyn Audio 8s. So we're gonna do a three-way Dyn Audio system. Uh, probably leave the factory PCM and then do the Moscone and all the processing under the seat. I'm gonna try to convince Derek to come down, fly down here and do it with me this time. So that way it's clean. I don't end up with any ground loops. And we end up with a magical system. All right, this should then lift straight up like so. And that's it. And then what I do, Let's pop this, this piece off here. This is for the speaker. I can get my finger on there. there we go. And then we pull the door, the door pull off. So this piece, we pop these two little, two little things here and pull forward, pull backward. Should come out here. It's holding on tight there for some reason. Why is this one not coming off? This piece has to come off first. So that comes off. <clears throat> stuck in there. There we go. Just in there a little tighter. This thing turns and comes out. So now we got the whole door card off. That's it. This piece, that piece, good to go. And you see how it slides in. So these, these things, so these one, two, three, four, five, so the door slides down and catches in these little holes. So there's no pops. There's no things we need to mess with. There's our speaker setup. So there's our seven inch. I think we can fit an eight. And then the, the three and what a three and three quarter tweeter or a mid range the tweeters up there in the dash. So we'll replace these. But I love how a few minutes ago, I just took the door card off the uh, off the, the one M and uh, it was a much bigger process where you had to pop all kinds of stuff. I broke a little piece, uh, putting it back on, and uh, this, these things come on, they, they, they come apart really, really nicely. So here's our gray that doesn't match anything in the car. And so we're gonna make it yellow. Can't believe I'm putting yellow in the car voluntarily. That's the funny part. Okay, so we'll take this. This is a T, T20. When I do anything, when I do anything with this car, I want to sell my BMWs and just get more Porsches. It's just, just a different class of engineering, man. You had 50, 52, 53 years of engineering building a 911. And then there's a little eight millimeter here. It holds this on. Let's set that aside. This little piece comes out. So it, you can pull that off, slide it out. So you can see this little piece here where the, the strap runs. So maybe I get lucky I can sell these to someone. Anybody want some gray door pulls? I wonder if you could take 
Yeah, see, this is plastic, plastic riveted on here. So I don't know, I don't think you could take, doesn't look like this piece comes out. I think you'd need the whole door card if you wanted to swap your 911 to a lightweight, lightweight uh, pull. So then this slides through this little channel like that. Put that in there. It's holding me up here. So that goes through there. Then we take this piece. Uh oh, what's that from? Then this goes like this, we slide it through there. You don't even have to lift the door up, but I'm doing it just so you can see. And we slide this back through here. And then that goes like that. And we're done. And then we'll just put, so there's little teeth here and holds this on or holds this in place. Uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah, it definitely doesn't go that way. So there's just so many little things where there's just no other way for this stuff to go. Like they make it so bulletproof, so idiot proof. I mean, I don't think they designed it. They don't want people like little goofs like me messing with the car, but even for their own support you know their own technical staff their own um you know guys working on the cars they make this stuff so that it can be taken apart and fixed and put back together we'll just get these all started make sure we're lined up and then i'll torque it all down So this is such an easy install that anybody who's considering this, doing this, like if you, you know, if you did do some sort of custom stitching and you're, you had the, these door pulls, there's a strap, lightweight strap, latch opener, I'm calling it a door pull, I don't know if you actually call it that, but you could very easily you know, in an hour, swap both of them, even not knowing what you're doing to shoot, just watch this video. Even with just limited, I mean, we need, only needed a few tools. You just need to make sure you have a set of torques. I mean, chances are you're going to have an eight millimeter, maybe a couple of picks and pry tools. You could just, you could even use a screwdriver. That's it, man. So we're in, there's our pull. Pretty slick, huh? Looks a little better. All right, let's put it back on. Okay, so make sure I always plug the speaker in because I forgot to plug the speaker back in on the M3. There was a lot more, on the M3, there was a lot more stuff that needed to be reconnected. So there's our speaker crossover module. And then we put this back in place. Turn that, pull it back, slide it in, that's it. And then this is different from most doors. Most doors will have things that need to, you know, the little uh, little push pins that need to pop in place. And then you gotta worry about is making sure that lines up. And then you push on the bottom and just slide it down. You can tell you're in place when this hole here lines up. Make sure these holes line up. We're done. So now all I got to do is put our T30s back where they belong. We'll pop the pieces back in place. And we got ourselves a door put back together with a proper colored door pull. I should have done this a long time ago. Gosh, I love working on this car.
you would think, and even I thought before I bought the car like this, I'm like, man, I would never want to mess with this. It's a real expensive car. It'd be too hard to do. You think about Ferraris and McLarens where you can't really do this kind of stuff. I mean, I guess you could, but it's not as practical. You have to pull the engine out to you know, do services or this car, changing the oil, changing the air filters, doing everything, you can do it all yourself. It's funny, I go to the dealer, they give me such a hard time for that. And I actually got a Dur Durametric tool, I got to reset the service light. I'm gonna change the oil here as well. Just one more screw right here. But you, you can service these cars all yourself easily. Just this little rubber thing that makes sure this is the way it's supposed to be so we don't end up with any leaks. Probably been easier to just take the darn door card off and just get it lined up right. little section to pull out. There we go. Now we're lined up. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, take and pop this sucker back on. Pop this back in place. I already put that one back on. Check to make sure it works. Good to go. Easy project. All right, so simple project that I wish I did a long time ago. I could have done it in my driveway in an hour. Uh, and uh, you saw how easy it is to take apart, put back together. Only the minor little hiccup where I wanted to get that little the little trim inside the window area lined up. Uh, but now we have matching stitching door pulls. Looks actually looks really good. The, the yellow's really growing on me. We have a matching, you know, so our seat belt matches, our steering wheel stitching matches, our stitching all throughout the seats and everything. Even my uh, even my exclusive option. Uh, the seat bolster protector matches, so we got it all looking clean. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. Uh, more GT3 stuff coming. Uh, I've got to get the yellowing off the rear somehow, so we're going to work on that project. Uh, I'm going to do a Renline cell phone mount to get to change the oil, so I'll have a bunch of uh, GT3 uh, videos coming up here over the next uh, week or so. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. I love this car.